Hey again, Suzanne Perry here, founder of Love Shouldn't Hurt That TV. We are wrapping up October, which is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and each day I've been here giving you a little bit of insight um, regarding domestic violence. Today I have a question that came in that we'll be answering via video, and it says, Is trying to stay friends a poor idea after an abusive relationship breakup? Yes, it's a very bad idea. When you get out of an abusive relationship, cut the ties. I mean it. Cut them. Cut the ties. Block them. Don't answer their calls. Change the locks. You must sever all ties. Now, the only way you don't, you shouldn't, is if you have mutual children and you have to deal with, like, visitation and all that kind of stuff. Um, get yourself an order of protection if the person was violent. Don't engage with them. Because they're going to try to sink back into you again. They're going to try to get you back. They're going to tell you all kinds of garbage. All kinds of drama. And even something that sounds innocent and subtle like, Oh, I have your favorite shirt. You can come pick it up. Or can I drop it off? Don't. Let it go. Don't get the shirt. Don't let them give it to you. They're, they're just looking for little ways that seem sincere to try to tap back into your world again and then they're gonna pick apart whatever you say whatever you don't say and and it's all just gonna start back up again you all, and you need this time to get yourself back and realize you know what the heck happened and you need to you know un, un, un not the bundle of nerves that you have and you know clear your mind you need to take this time to just cleanse clear start to heal because if you let that toxic person back into your life, it's going to inhibit your mind and it's going to play with your emotions and it's going to maybe shift your judgment and you might not make the best decisions. So, sever all ties. Do not feel guilty. Do not feel ashamed. Because you're not the abusive one. You need to get yourself back. Don't buy in. Don't listen in. Forget whatever they say. They're going to try to do something to get a reaction out of you. Don't give in. I'll tell you what my ex-husband did. We were in court. And we were standing in the hallway. And, and I was waiting for the elevator. And he stood behind me. And there was nobody else around. And at the time, I was still deathly afraid of him. And he very smugly said over my shoulder, I seen pictures of you with other guys on the internet. I have those pictures. <laughs> and the elevator opened I got in the door closed. He didn't get it behind me and I was like, whoa, oh my god, what a relief. The reason why it's okay is because I work in promotions. This is what I do. If I had questionable material out there, well, maybe it wouldn't have been such a relief. So be very mindful of what you do because your ex will be looking around and having friends look around on their behalf to collect any dirt that they can on you and they'll threaten to use it in court or just against you or against any future friends or relationships that you may develop. So be very mindful of everything that you do that is online or possibly recorded. Be very careful. So, you know, for me, it was awesome. I was like, oh, is that all you got? And actually, when that happened, I felt the shift of power leave him and come back to me. And ever since then, I haven't been afraid of him anymore. And I've been able to walk proud and know, you know what? I'm badass, and I'm not doing anything wrong. So, I don't care what you see online. I don't put anything online I wouldn't want my own kids to see. So, it doesn't matter. And you will start to heal. You're going to get empowered the same way. But you can't do it until you sever all ties. Thank you for your question. Thank you for watching. I'm Suzanne Perry, and I'll be back again tomorrow.